It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, man, God. He's back in uh, Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. Yahweh Shemel Shaye, children of Israel. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yes, so the Heavenly Father. Uh, his only begotten son, they have a controversy with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. All right? And that word controversy means a case at law. All right? And no recording. All right? Uh, this ain't a damn show over here. All right? You gotta look like a monkey in a zoo or something. All right? Hell, you recorded me for. All right? You got damn horses and all type of damn gays and stocks out here. You want to record me. All right? This Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, children of Israel. For the, for the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yeah, because they want to play around and record people. All right? So he has a case in law with you. All right? Because guess what? The, the deaf angels are watching. All right? The, the angels are watching everything you people are doing. All right? So you think, you people believe in aliens, but you don't believe in angels. Well, those people, those aliens that you believe are aliens, those are actually angels, and they're recording everything you're doing, all right? And they're gonna judge you for it, all right? And guess what, those deaf angels, they don't play no games. They'll kill babies, they'll kill kids, they'll kill women, they'll kill our uh, old men. They don't give a damn who you are, all right? Your ass ain't got the exception from judgment, they gonna kill your ass, all right? It says, Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shaye, children of Israel. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shaye, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father has a case at law, all right? Because that word controversy goes into a case at law, all right? So, he has a case against you people because you blatantly disrespect him by breaking his laws, all right? You blatantly disrespect the Heavenly Father day in and day out by breaking his laws. All right, so he has a case in law with you, all right? And guess what? All right, he's gonna hold you guilty, all right? He's holding you guilty, and what's the judgment? The judgment is horrendous death, all right? It says, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God, Yahweh, in the land. There ain't no true knowledge of God, Yahweh, in the land, all right? Because if it was, women wouldn't be wearing fucking pants, all right? If it was, you would know that the Heavenly Father hates the so-called white man, all right? And woman, all right? If you knew the true knowledge of God and how about Shemel Shah, okay? You would know that the Heavenly Father is very displeased with this place. He's not for this place and he's gonna destroy it, all right? That's why the Heavenly Father is pissed off, all right? It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch of blood, you know? And that's what this place is all about, man. Sick perverseness, all right? Damn homosexuals, transsexuals, all right? And women ruling over men, all right? This place is completely sick. And that's why the Heavenly Father's gonna destroy it from out the face of the earth. Let's get there real quick. It's Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. I'm going to select it, verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, what's the eyes of the Lord? The eyes of the Lord are the angels. All right? The eyes of the Lord are those angels, those deaf angels. All right? It says, Select it. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. All right, and the sinful kingdom is really talking about Israel, the so called Negro, Latino, and Native Indian. All right, because they're all about sin. All right, well, you can apply this to America because this is the sinful kingdom. Like I was saying, this place is all about sin, all right, death, 
all right, and going against the Heavenly Father. That's all this place is about, all right? So the Heavenly Father has his eyes against this place, you know? It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh are upon the simple kingdom. Yes, so those angels, they got their eyes on this simple place, this simple kingdom. It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, which is, Yahweh Shem is going to literally destroy America from off the face of the earth, okay? America is not going to be no more, very soon, all right? The Heavenly Father is going to send 200 million, all right, ICBM nuclear missiles, all right, a great multitude of ICBM nuclear missiles, all right, over here to America, and it's going to incinerate this place, all right? And this place is not going to be no more. It's not going to be brought up no more, all right? It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yehovah Shemel Shah, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So Yehovah Shemel Shah is going to destroy America from off the face of the earth, all right? And all you people who want to be uh, en engulfed in the American way, he's going to destroy your ass too, all right? Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, who is the house of Jacob? Well, the house of Jacob represents the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third men, women, and children who are slated for salvation. All right, that's the house of Jacob because all of Israel is not of Israel. All right, but if you're not of the elect, guess what? You're going to die a horrible death out here. All right, if you're a so-called white man or white woman, you're finished. All right, you're finished. Just go... You, you might as well go ahead and shoot some hair on, all right, and get ready for death, all right? Might as well go pop some Xanax pills, all right, and go jump off the 44th floor of the West, all right? It says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Yeah, because our people are scattered amongst all nations, contrary to popular belief, all right? Contrary to popular belief, because you could be look like a so-called black man, but not be a black so-called black man, asshole. All right, but I eat Jesse Smollett. All right. It says, like as corn is sifted in the in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yeah, so the heavenly, how is he gonna sift this place? Well, he gonna destroy your ass if you don't have that exemption. All right, just gonna hit, go ahead and take your ass out. All right. That's him sifting, all right? It says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yeah, if you're, so if you're a sinner, you're gonna die by the sword, all right? And automatically, like I said, if you're a heathen nation, you're gonna die anyway, all right? So just get ready for one of these plagues that Yahweh yeah, Shemel Shah is gonna bring, all right? Cause you're gonna catch one, all right? But if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native any, and you don't want to uh, follow the way of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, all right? You're gonna die by the sword, all right? You're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna get hit with one of these nukes, all right? If you make it that far, or you're just gonna have to watch your body get incinerated, or, or or your body is just gonna be incinerated. This is gonna be as fuel for the fire. Fucking dumb sickos. It says. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yeah, all the sinners of the Heavenly Father's people shall die by the sword. All right? And that's the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. You're sinners. You're going to die by the sword. All right? Which the sword is a glittering sword, by the way. All right? An ICBM nuclear missile. All right? It says... All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Like that sodomite who was up here earlier. All right. I know I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. All right. Shut your gay ass up. All right. You think the evil not going to overtake or prevent you? You're out your fucking mind. All right. You people got another thing coming. If, what? You got another thing coming if you think the Heavenly Father's all peaches and cream out here. All right. He gonna take your ass out. It's back in Hosea. 
chapter 4 and verse 2. By swearing and lying and killing. Yeah, that's all you people about. All right, iniquity. All right. Sickos. It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touching blood. Yeah, you're all about sin and iniquity. All right. And what we just read, all the sinners of my people should die by the sword. All right. It says, Therefore shall the land mourn. Yeah, therefore shall the land mourn. So the Lord, he's going to have a lot of you people mourning out here. Guess what? Because he's going to kill women. He's going to kill children. He's going to kill old men. All right. The Heavenly Father don't give a damn who you are. You sinning against, he's going to kill your ass. All right. There's going to be horrible, horrible deaths. You're going to be mourning. All right. But well, guess what? The so-called white man, Esau Edom, he's going to implement martial law. All right. He's going to implement martial law on you people. All right. And if your ass is caught out in the streets, he's going to put your ass to death. All right. A lot of you people have been going to concentration camps. All right. Re-educational centers. All right. Where are they going to re-educate your ass in? All right. To do what I say or die. All right. It says, therefore shall the land mourn. Yeah, a lot of you people going to mourn. All right. You are already mourning. All right, guess what? Because these grocery stores are going empty. All right. A grocery store only holds three days worth of food. All right. What you going to do when the food run out? How you going to eat? You, 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 you people don't know how to grow nothing. All right. What you going to do? All right. It says, therefore shall the land mourn. And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. Yeah, that's it's gonna be a lot of mourning and languishing out here. Alright. Why? Because it's gonna be famine, pestilence, and great death. Alright? And great death. Okay? So a lot of people are gonna be mourning and crying and weeping. Alright? But guess what? The Lord not gonna hear your mourning and crying. Alright? He not gonna hear it. Are right? he gonna turn away his ear from you? You're gonna be, please God, please Jesus, please God, please Jesus. He's not gonna hear your ass. He's gonna let you get taken out. It says, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yeah, so look, the, fish, the fishes, they ain't even do nothing. The fishes, they ain't even do nothing. So if the fishes ain't even do nothing, and the Heavenly Father gonna take their ass out, how much more you give? All right. How much more you can do? What, what did a fish do? A fish didn't do nothing. The Heavenly Father will take the fishes out. All right? It says, Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. And that's all y'all people do. Y'all fight against the man of the Lord. All right? Because guess what? We are the priests. Y'all by Shemal say he has made us a, a, ro a, a royal priesthood. A nation of kings and priests. And who does that start from? That starts from the elect. All right? That starts from the elect. That's the priest. And you people love to strive against us. Which strive means fight or have contention. All right? You refuse to listen to the words of the Heavenly Father because uh, contrary to popular belief, this not us speaking. It's the Heavenly Father speaking through us. It says, Therefore shalt thou fall in the day. Yeah, what day? The day of the Lord. All right? Since you didn't want to listen to his men, okay, you wanted to scuff against his men, you wanted to look at his men like he was crazy, all right, like they was crazy, you wanted to record them, you wanted to talk shit, all right, well, the Heavenly Father going to cause your ass to fall in that day, all right, because guess what? The voice of the Lord comes out through his men, and that's how he stretches out his hand unto you, all right? So if you, you reject that, you're rejecting the voice of the Lord. You're rejecting the counsel of the Lord, all right? So you're rejecting the Heavenly Father. What's going to happen? It says, therefore shall thou fall in the day, and the prophets, prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, that's why you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians are destroyed. All right? Because y'all lack knowledge. All right? How, well, how do you get knowledge? You get knowledge from the man that Yahweh Hashem Shah sets up to you receive for you to receive knowledge from. All right. If you reject that, you're rejecting knowledge. 
which our people do all the time. They walk straight past, all right? They ignore you. They talk shit, all right? So guess what? That's you rejecting knowledge. It says, I, I will also reject thee. So that since you're rejecting knowledge, the Heavenly Father is going to reject you, all right? He's going to reject you. It says, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Why? Because the Heavenly Father made the nation of Israel as a nation of kings and priests. All right. And it says a priest's lips must keep knowledge, which our nation, they're not priests. Well, all of Israel is not of Israel anyway. All right. That's them being rejected by the Heavenly Father. You know? It says, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. That's what it's all about, forgetting the law of thy power. All right? And that's the sinner. All the sinner of my, sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All right? What makes you a sinner? Because you're transgressing the law. Sin is transgressing the law, which you people are all about. So since you reject the Heavenly Father and his ways, okay, he's going to reject you and bring judgment on you. All right? Because what's, what's the wages of sin? The wages of sin are death. All right? Which the Lord is going to bring a lot of death out here. All right, there's going to be a lot of death out here. Because get what what you have a shot say. Hold on, let me read the rest of this. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father going to forget a lot of you people's kids out here. All right, with your kids crying, all right, because they ain't even got a can of ravioli. All right. The Heavenly Father, he's not gonna give it to him. gonna let that little, he's gonna let little uh little Daryl die. Alright. He's gonna let little uh Diamond die. Alright. Whatever your damn kid's name is, he's gonna let their ass get put to death. Why? Because you reject him. But this is what I want real quick. Because guess what? It's gonna be a lot of death out here. Real soon. This is Isaiah, chapter 34. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 5 For my sword shall be bathed in heaven Yeah the sword of the Lord is going to be bathed in heaven And what that mean He going he gonna to put his sword in a bathtub in heaven No asshole Alright The sword of the Lord is ICBM nuclear missiles And they going to bathe in you people blood Alright Because what this is heaven Heaven just means rulership Alright Well one of the definitions for heaven is rulership Alright and Esau's rulership. The sword, his sword is gonna be bathed down here. It says, but my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Yeah, Idumia, that's the Greek way of saying Edom. Alright? Which this is the chief place of Edom. Alright? This is the chief place of Edom. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. Yeah, because Yahweh outside has people that are cursed to judgment. All right. Second Ezra, let's get that. multitude of people out here were just born in vain. You were just born to die. Alright? You was born to live your miserable life and then the Heavenly Father just put your ass to death. It says, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. Yeah, because the Heavenly Father, he cold like that. Alright? The Heavenly Father is cold like that. Alright? He'll, he'll, he'll keep you, he'll, he'll create you just to destroy you. Alright? That's, that's, what the heavenly, that's how the Heavenly Father get down, you know? It says, let the multitude perish which was born in vain. So you had a, a, a great multitude of, of, of people that the Heavenly Father created that was just born in vain. All right, they're just side people in the movie, okay? It says, let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. 
and let my great be kept. And let my great be kept, which the great represents the elect. All right? Everybody else, they just gonna die out here. You know that. Right? You were just born in vain, you know? And my plant, but with great labor have I made it perfect. Yep, with great labor have you made it perfect. All right? Because they're great. They have went through uh, hell out here, man. All right? They, they, they've they weathered the storm. All right? They've weathered the storm. All right? What did I tell you? Let's get this. We're going to go back to Isaiah. Let's get this in Proverbs. It's Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 21. As the finding pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Yeah, so is the finding pot for silver, all right? And the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise, all right? That's, what, that's that great labor, all right? Us being made perfect through great labor, all right? Which we, we've endured, all right? The Heavenly Father called us out of the world. We came out of the world, all right? And we came to do his, 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 his will, all right, consistently, all right, day by day with everything we had, all right. That's making us perfect with great labor, you know. So we're going to be kept, Lord willing, with those men, of course. We're going to be kept. And you people going to be destroyed because you was born in vain, all right. You was born in vain. You didn't, you didn't do the great labor of the Lord to be kept, you know. You wasn't a part of the great labor of the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shot to be kept. Alright. It's Isaiah chapter 34, verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Yeah, that's you people who was born in vain. Alright. Yahweh by Shemel Shah has cursed you to judgment. Alright. And, and, and that's and that's the cold part of the Heavenly Father that you people don't understand, all right? The Heavenly Father will create you just to destroy you, all right? Romans the ninth chapter, all right? Vessels fitted for destruction, all right? That's the code. That's why the Heavenly Father ain't nothing to play with out here, all right? That's why the Heavenly Father ain't nothing to play with. That's why it's best to do what he told you to do, all right? Or, 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 or be destroyed. If you, well, if, you do, or if you're not doing what he told you to do, it's obviously because obviously the Heavenly Father don't want nothing to do with you and he wants to destroy you, you know? He created you to destroy you. It's back in Isaiah chapter 34, verse 6. It says, The sword of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is filled with blood. Yep. Because it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of blood shed out here. All right? Because how do you atone for sins? You atone for sins through blood. All right? And what's the atonement for sins? What atonement for, for sins is the blood of who you people call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai. All right? That's the atonement for sins. But if you reject Yahweh Shai, you don't have no atonement for sins. All right? So you're going to have to shed your blood. All right? Because you're not covered by his blood. All right? It says, The sword of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is filled with blood. Yeah, because a lot of you people reject Yahweh Shai, which is rejecting the word. You reject the word, you reject the Yahweh Shah. All right, so that means you have rejected the blood. You, you don't have, you, you, that death angel is not going to pass over you. All right, because you have to have the blood of Yahweh Shah, like in the time of Exodus, on your doorsteps to be protected from that death angel when it came through. All right, which a lot of you people are not going to be protected by that death angel when it comes through because you don't have the blood on your door. All right, which we was, we was going into that door. Yahweh Shah is the door, you know. He is the door. It says, so he the door, he the door and the blood. Yahweh shines everything. You know. It says, the sword of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah is filled with blood. It is made fat with fat. It's made fat with fat. Right. And with the blood of lambs and goats, 
Yeah, with the bloods of lambs and goats, and the lambs represent your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. All right? Which proves that the Lord is going to kill a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. All right? And the goats represents all you heathen nations. All right? The goats represents all you heathen nations, starting from the so-called white man on down. All right? The Lord is going to shed your blood. All right? It says, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for the Lord, Yahweh Shemel, shall have a sacrifice in Basra. Yes, yeah, so the Heavenly Father has a sacrifice out here. All right? What's going to be the sacrifice? A lot of you people. All right? A lot of you people are going to be a sacrifice for the Heavenly Father. All right? You're going to be a sec. You're, 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 you're going to, uh, you're going to take part in the, uh, the cleansing of the land through your blood. You're going to take part in the retribution unto the Heavenly Father through your blood. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. And that's here in America. All right? The Lord has a great slaughter out here. All right? He has a great slaughter prepared out here. Okay? A great slaughter. All right? It says, and the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. <laughs> so the Heavenly Father is going to actually, instead of like you bringing uh, uh, some turtle doves, some bullocks, some rams, some lambs, some goats, all right, to the Lord for a sacrifice, the Lord is going to make a sacrifice out of you people, all right? He's gonna actually make a sacrifice out of your, out of you people, all right? Hey, that's some shit, bro. You, 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 you people are sick, all right? You people are sick. Cause you, you really think this is a fucking game, you know? You, you really think this is a damn game? The Lord is literally finna make a sacrifice out of you people's flesh. That's how you know that you people were born in vain. The majority of you people were born in vain. All right? Because you don't even care. Here it is. The Lord's going to bring, have a sacrifice with people. All right? <laughs> with you people. And you don't even know it. You ain't even know it. You ain't even know it. It says, For it is the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shah's vengeance. Yeah, because the Heavenly Father has, He's going to revenge you people for committing iniquity and transgression against him, all right? He's gonna revenge you for that, you know? It's the day of the Lord's vengeance, okay? And the year of recompenses, what's recompense? Recompense is payback, all right? Cause you think you're just gonna do, you're gonna sin against the Lord and just be okay out here? No, that's not happening, all right? That's not happening. You're gonna pay for that. You're gonna have to pay for that. It says, for it is the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shah's vengeance. And the year of recompenses, your yeah, recompense means payback. So the Lord has payback for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians for continually being disobedient towards his laws, statutes, and commandments. All right? He has, he has uh, a recompense for you for that. You know? It says, For it is the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shah's vengeance. And the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Yeah, who is Zion? Zion represents uh, the nation of Israel, all right? Zion represents the nation of Israel. And the Heavenly Father has a uh, recompense and a controversy against the nation of Israel, all right? For their wickedness that they commit, you know? And the streams thereof shall be turned into pigs, and the dust thereof into brimstone. And the land
Y'all don't care nothing about the Lord, man. All right. All y'all care about is being involved in, 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 in folly. All right. Just complete folly. Riding down the street, sitting out the damn window. All right, recording. Hopefully one of you stupid niggas fall out the window and fucking crack your skull. It says, and the streams thereof shall be torn, turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. And that's the land that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians want to ride around in in your fucking in your Challenger and your Camaro. All right, that same land you niggas want to race and be some damn buffoons in. All right, man. The Lord gonna turn this shit to fire and brimstone. All right, with your ass in it, by the way. Let's go to Revelation. Well, let's go to Joel 3. The Lord, man, I'm talking about he's going to open it up on you. Here, but he, or the Heavenly Father is going to open up on you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. This Joel, chapter 3. And verse 13, put they in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down. For the rest is full, the facts overflow, for wickedness is great. Your wickedness is to a maximum level out here, man. Wickedness is to the absolute maximum level that it can be to out here, all right? Wickedness is great, you know? So the harvest is ripe. All right. Well, what's the harvest? The harvest is the kingdom of heaven. All right. The harvest is the kingdom of heaven. All right. So the the, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. Like what it say in Matthew the fourth chapter, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The harvest is ripe. Put ye in the sick. All right. So the sick was gonna pull out here all the undesirable. All right, and everything that is desirable. All right.
Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right? So because the Heavenly Father don't just have to just bring judgment immediately, that he's not going to bring judgment. All right? Well, guess what? We are in the time of the Heavenly Father's judgment. And it ain't going to be nothing pretty for you people. All right? Because you are wicked. All right? It says, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know it should be well with them that fear Yahweh, which fear before him. Yes, yeah, so though a sinner do evil a hundred times, okay, that don't mean he's going to make it. That don't mean he's going to make it out here, you know. Slut.